Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in and welcome back once again to yet another episode of Proudly Mumbling. Yes, man, how you guys doing? You guys good? It's Easter season, man. Hey, I just want to wish everybody, man, happy Easter to all the Catholics and the Christians around the world, man. It's so love, I mean, and if this is your first time seeing this face, they call me Jay. I'm uh, a motherland and live out in the diaspora, man, and I do draw vlogs talking about issues affecting my continent because, yes, as you know, man, I'm a proud son of the soil, 100%, yes, and I would like to beg of you, man, before we get started, do give us that thumbs up, man, uh, it helps with the algorithm and whatever we're trying to do, YouTube is definitely going to understand that if you keep giving us that thumbs up. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today's vlog, I wanted to talk about um, the Republic of Niger. You know, I've dropped several vlogs on, on, on this platform, on the channel, about the Republic of Niger. And uh, we all know that uh, the Republic of Niger is one of those countries where uh, a strong man came up and decided that enough was enough. And they kicked out that colonial master man, France. And a couple of months after, uh, after trying to understand what is happening between them and the United States, they decided that the United States had to go. And um, sources say that uh, the decision to kick the United States out of its territory came after a meeting which just proved to them that um, there's actually no reason having the United States in the Republic of Niger. And uh, we are told that in that meeting, uh, General Langley and Miss Molly, uh, delegation from uh, the Pentagon and the United States, uh, sounded very condescending. And uh, they were trying to dictate and they were trying to tell the military leader who to be friends with and who to not be friends with. And uh, it is clear, man, from the beginning of this takeover man, General Chiani, who is the military leader for the Republic of Niger, had said that they would no longer tolerate any person who is in Niger and any person who is condescending. And if you remember, man, there's the saga with uh, the French ambassador who didn't want to leave, but had to run out like a dog with his tail in between his legs. And so this is the same situation now. If you know America and it's foreign policies America has this whole tendency of always trying to tell people what to do and what not to do but ladies and gentlemen times are changing things are changing and people are waking up uh, and the, the, the leader through their spokesperson kicked the United States out of their territory because as you know man the United States owns a drone base in that beautiful country now, if you don't know, that, that, that base cost about 100 million taxpayers dollars. But the irony is this, if you stop any American today on the street and ask them, do you know where, or you show them the world map, tell me where the Republic of Niger is, they would not be able to do so. But still, the taxpayers' money keeps going to do and build crazy things. Now, after the spokesperson for the regime came out and, and asked them to leave because their presence was uh, unconstitutional, um, the, 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 the America replied and they were like, you know what, you know, we do not yet understand the purpose for this, but we have one of you people that partner with the people you're partnering. Of course, if you know, man, um, the Sahara region and most African leaders today who are standing and putting their foot down. Some of them have been partnering with uh, an ash enemy of America man, since the days of Soviet Union and today Russia. Now, that is a debatable topic which I'm not going to dwell on if you think uh, which is the best side to partner with and which is not the best side to partner with. I will leave that to you to leave a comment. But ladies and gentlemen, um, after a couple of days went by, after the spokesperson for the military leader in the Republic of Niger asked them to leave. Americans started going back using some funny crazy, you know. They were begging to stay. 
because sources has said that the Pentagon sent another delegation with Ms. Molly on it. This time around, General Langley is not in it. And they sent a delegation to go talk with the military leader in the Republic of Niger, begging them to stay so that they should not lose everything that they constructed. Now, that is a hundred million dollars to the drain. But when you construct a base in the person's territory, you have no right to tell them how to behave or who to be friends with. But you see, America has had this going on for the past decades like we cannot even remember. Like the world's policeman, telling who you can talk to, who you cannot talk to. Now, I don't know why they even let the Americans stay when they were kicking the French out. But I guess everything happens for a reason. Now, it is said that people, a delegation from the Pentagon, went to speak with the, the military leadership in the Republic of Niger so that they can find common grounds. And they themselves posted that they are going through diplomatic channels to see that they are not supposed to leave. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just say this, man. Before I end this whole vlog, let me say this. If you are in the people's land, and all you do is cause havoc, all you do is spy and try to get information about other people's activities, I don't think it is your place to stay there. And as an African who is a citizen of a country that was former colonial master Francis puppetry, I would say this man, the military leader has the right, the president of the Republic of Niger has the right to tell these people, move, we are taking a U-turn, we are going with our country, we are taking a different direction with this country, and we are going to do with it how we feel, because we all know that the first thing that these people are trying to stay there is for its uranium. Now, Niger is one of the top exporters and producers of uranium, the same Resource which the French, through their puppet who was in place, Mohamed Bazoum, was exploiting and robbing and pilfering at 80 cents to a dollar and reselling that ish at 200 per kilo. To a, it's crazy. So now they are turning to a country that is going to help them. Now, let me just say this just like Bob Marley said, the great Jamaican singer. Every man has the right to decide his own destiny because we need to fight for that issue. That is my time. I want you to leave a comment. Do you think that uh, the military leader is supposed to let America stay or they should kick him out and tell him to leave ASAP? That's my time. Be good. Be nice. Stay watching. Peace.